going to show you how to use MetaHumans and MetaHuman Creator to create your own custom MetaHumans. First thing you need to do is you'll need to go to the Marketplace. Okay, and then let's go to Marketplace, search MetaHuman Plugin. You'll get this window here. Um, add it and install it to your engine. Once you have that done, um, you'll want to go to your uh, go to Chrome and then just type in MetaHuman Creator. Click on MetaHuman Creator um, and then choose the engine that you're working on. Currently, it's, it works for 5.0 to 5.2. Um, right now, I'm using 5.1, so click 5.1. Uh, you'll be put in a short queue. And once that loads, we'll be able to uh, customize our own meta human. Um, while that's loading, uh, let's jump back over to our engine and uh, let's make sure we have this plugin. It's called a uh, Quixel Bridge. We'll need that to to actually have it have meta human work with and install the uh, the custom MetaHuman rig. So go ahead and click this here and install. It'll have you restart your your Unreal. Okay, let's jump back over to our web page and let's see here. It says please wait. Um, it'll take a little bit longer. And while we're waiting. We can jump over to the search bar and type in MetaHuman. And go ahead and create a MetaHuman project as well. Add it, check out, create project, and then add it uh, to your project as a, as a completely new project. Let's jump back to meta human creator okay here um normally it'll start at this screen here in this panel you'll be able to choose whoever you want um and then uh create a custom looking character to your liking uh i already created one um but what i basically did was um you know let's say we want him her okay just let it load then we would just go to create selected um and from there you know we can change her face around skin color eyes you know um teeth even makeup you know and we can just go down the list um change her clothes have her wear a hoodie instead you can change the color of the hoodie uh change her pants uh, and, you know, swap her shoes out. And then once you're happy with all that, you can just click back. Uh, you can click out here to my MetaHuman. And this is the old character that I created. And then this is the new one uh, with the hoodie and the shoes that we changed out. So if you're happy with how your character looks, um you just need to go down and hit export okay now that that's done we need to jump over to unreal and uh we need to load quixel bridge so you go to this plus button here and then uh quixel bridge is right here a second one over click that and then this will appear here um if you click on this icon it'll show your meta humans below here make sure you, you log on because if you log on you won't be able to see that you only see the hit meta human presets uh click on my meta humans and click on the character that you like um depending on the strength of your computer you want to choose low medium or high quality um i just went to medium quality uh, once you do that click download uh it'll take a while to download um, once you're done with that, click add. It'll add the meta human character to your engine. And from there, we will just need to go to here and
Yeah, we can see. And then you would just need to go to here. And then our character's name. Uh, well, I didn't download uh, the other character, but my original character was named Pia. Drag in your blueprint. Okay, it'll load. Okay, so because we installed the uh, MetaHuman uh, project and created a project, um, this folder appears now appears inside your contents. Okay, so we have our, our character here. We'll just bring her into the scene. Okay. So I'm just going to add a... So from here, I'm going to add a master sequence. And uh, I'll just cre hit create. Um, and you're just going to play around with this. So we have our character here in the scene. I'm just going to drag her into the sequencer right here. We have her control rig. That's it. Now we're able to animate with a metahuman.